Have you grown tired of the character faces constantly changing in AI-generated illustrations? In most text-to-image models, a character's identity tends to shift between images. Each time, there's a new face, different clothes, or a completely altered environment. But here's the good news. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, you'll learn powerful techniques that allow you to create consistent characters across a wide range of visual projects, from cartoons and 3D animation to realistic films. These characters retain a stable, repeatable identity in any scenario. Hi everyone, my name is Iman. This is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to a new tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. I search for the creator of this new method of building consistent characters, Black Forest Labs. The first result leads to their official website, and I click on it. On the home page, I'm automatically taken to the introduction of their new model, Flux.1 Context. I click on Get Started. Currently, this model is available in three versions, Pro, Max, and Dev. It can be accessed through their internal platform, called Playground, or externally via API. As noted on the page, this technology is also integrated into platforms like Comfy UI, Replicate, LTX Studio, Freepik, Crea, Leonardo, and OpenArt. So if you come across Flux.1 context on any of these platforms, don't be surprised. It's using the same API. I click try in the playground to use it within Black Forest Labs internal platform. In the welcome window, I check the box that says I'm over 18. At this stage, you can sign up with a personal email or log in with your Google account. I choose continue with Google. Since I already have a logged in Google account on the system, it detects it. I select the account I want and click continue, then get started. Now I'm inside the main interface for image generation and editing with Flux.1 context. This page showcases the capabilities of the Flux.1 context model. The move camera feature allows you to view your current image from new angles. The relight feature lets you change the lighting of the image. Product photo transforms regular images into professional looking shop visuals. The zoom feature lets you enlarge parts of your image with no quality loss. With Colorize, you can bring black and white images to life in full color. The Remove Text feature eliminates all text from images while realistically reconstructing the removed areas. Remove Furniture and Remove Anything offer similar capabilities. The Cartoonify feature turns realistic images into cartoon-style versions. Movie Poster transforms your regular images into cinematic posters with amazing text. Haircut lets you change the hairstyle in an image. Feel free to explore the rest of the features on your own. Now, from the bottom left corner, I click on my account. This section shows the number of remaining credits. When you create an account, you're automatically gifted 200 free credits. In this area, you can also find the logout option. Next, make sure you're in the edit section from the left-hand menu. Let's go through our first example of creating a consistent character. At the top of the page, I click on the upload box, select the reference character image, and upload it. In the first example, my goal is to place the reference character in a new setting. In the prompt box, I enter my request in English. The prompt I use is, medium shot, she's wearing warm winter clothes in a mountain area. Next, in the text box on the upper right corner, I click the three dot icon. In the drop down under model, I can choose between pro and max modes. I select pro. In the batch size section, I set the number of images to be generated at once. Here, I choose two. For output format, I select JPEG from the available formats. After applying all settings, I click Submit. The request enters the processing queue, and after a short wait, two thumbnails are displayed as output. A quick note, if you hover your mouse over a thumbnail, a delete option appears in the top right corner. I click on the first thumbnail to view it in full size. In the top right corner, there's a download button that lets you save the image without a watermark. The reference character is now shown in a brand new scene, while all her visual features remain intact. Now let's review the second image. I download this one as well. In this image too, the character is in a new scene wearing warm clothes, staying completely faithful to the original reference. The physical traits are perfectly consistent. This is how we achieve a consistent character. Let's move on to the second example, where we place the character in another new location. I click the upload box again, select the reference image, and upload it. I type in my new idea in the text box. The new prompt reads, 
Wide shot. She's sitting on a bench in a big park, with autumn leaves on the ground. For settings, I click the three-dot icon in the upper right corner of the box. I apply the same settings as in the first example. Then I click Submit. The request goes into the processing queue, and shortly after, two thumbnails appear as the output. I click on one of them to see the full-sized image. I download the image. As you can see, the character is now in a brand new pose and location. Let's take a look at the second image. I download this one too. Now, the character is seen sitting on a bench, with all her visual features fully preserved. Once again, we've successfully created a consistent character. Let's make the consistent character challenge a bit tougher. Since the reference image is still active in the edit section, there's no need to re-upload it. First, I delete the previous prompt and insert the new one into the prompt box. Wide shot. She's standing on the edge of a cliff, with the big ocean below. Now I click on the three-dot icon in the upper right corner of the box to review the settings one more time. Everything is ready. I click Submit. The request enters the queue, and after a few moments, two thumbnail images appear. I click on one of the thumbnails. The result is truly eye-catching. The character is now standing on a high cliff, overlooking a vast ocean. Most importantly, despite all these changes, the character has completely retained her identity and visual features. Let's review the second image as well. I download this one too. In this image, the character is again in a standing pose, different from the previous one. Yet again, we have a consistent character. To begin the fourth example, I click on the upload box, select the reference character image, and upload it. I enter a new idea in the text box. Wide shot. She's standing in the middle of a quiet town street, with buildings on both sides. Then I click the three-dot icon and apply the same settings as before. Now I click Submit. After a short wait, two thumbnails appear. I open one of them. In the image, the character appears exactly in the described position, standing in the middle of a calm street, with her features stable and consistent. Let's take a look at the second image. While this one isn't full body, it offers a wider view of the surroundings. The color palette and peaceful mood feel very natural. And even with the complete change in location, the character has retained her original visual identity. I first delete the previous prompt and insert the final one into the box. Wide shot. She's walking down a sunny city street, wearing light blue jeans, a white hoodie, white sneakers, and a beige crossbody bag. I check the settings and then click submit. When the images are ready, I open one of them. In this image, the character is walking in a city street, dressed in a completely new outfit. And yet, her visual identity is unchanged. The character remains entirely consistent. Let's review the next image. In this one too, the character's traits are preserved. This is where you realize how the Flux.1 context image editor is pushing the boundaries of creating consistent characters. In the next example, we're going to change the emotion and mood of the character. The new prompt is, medium shot, she's leaning gently on a fence, lost in her thoughts with a gentle smile. The output includes two thumbnails. I click on one. I absolutely love this image, and I download it. The image shows the character remaining consistent and unified, immersed in her thoughts with an emotional expression. Let's view the next one. Most importantly, even though the mood has completely changed, there is no alteration in the character's face or appearance. We still have a consistent character. In the next consistent character challenge, we'll combine location, position, and emotion all at once. Since the reference image is still active in the edit section, I won't upload it again. I delete the previous prompt and paste the new one into the box. Wide shot. She's sitting quietly on a hilltop, looking out at the sunset with a peaceful face. Now I click the three-dot icon in the upper right corner to review the settings one more time. Everything is ready. I click submit. The request enters the queue, and after a short while, two thumbnails appear. I click on one of the thumbnails. The result is absolutely beautiful. The character is sitting, watching a lovely sunset, her face calm, still remaining loyal to the original reference. Let's review the second image. I download this one too. The second image is truly a masterpiece. And yes, the character is consistent here as well. Now, with the method I've shown you, and with Flux.1 context, you can create consistent characters for your own projects. Did you find this tutorial helpful? If yes, give it a like and make me happy. I'll be uploading more amazing tutorials to the channel very soon, so subscribe right now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Remember, artificial intelligence is the future. Embrace it now.